City Voices, City Visions is a partnership between the University at Buffalo Graduate School of Education and Buffalo Public Schools. They're feeling good about what they know and what they're doing. There is always ongoing process of learning going on. It's a serious academic tool. It's a super tool of learning. I think it's changed the way I teach and I think it's made me a better teacher. Maybe you're going to talk about multimodality and layer meaning. Maybe you're going to talk about how it aligns with traditional literacies and... Um, Keith Hughes and Joe Malley are teachers at McKinley High School in Buffalo, New York. But this Saturday in April, their students are teachers at a professional development workshop. So if I'm doing an interview, do you think I'm better off maybe not having transition between each segment? But this workshop isn't typical professional development. It's more like a digital boot camp. For 28 hours over the course of eight Saturdays, these teachers have been attending the City Voices City Visions Institute, immersing themselves in the process of video making to discover how to effectively use digital video as a learning tool in their classrooms. And now we're going to go down and we're going to paste it right between the clips where we deleted. It's called Digital Video Composing, and it's the only large-scale project of its kind in the nation that's focused on integrating DV learning tools into school curricula. Since the program began in 2000, over 180 teachers from 18 urban schools have been prepared in this innovative approach to education. In this American history class, written reports from last week are to be handed back. There was a time when literacy simply meant books and the printed page, but that's no longer true. The reality is that today's students use multiple new digital literacies to make sense of their world. The City Voices City Visions concept takes advantage of these new literacies and integrates them into the classroom. Okay, and Shinokle, you're going to film people who say why they came to America, okay? Actively engaging 6th to 12th grade students in hands-on, project-based digital learning across the curriculum. If the focus of attention is on the learning and not the teaching, then you have teachers who pull out all the tools that they need to make the learning happen. Essentially, students use digital technology to create 30 to 60 second videos related to their studies. They're not meant to replace reading, writing, or traditional teaching, but rather to augment those established methods. So as literacy has been defined in the 20th century as reading and writing, um, we're not willing to throw all of that out, but we are willing to add to that definition. And that's what video, I think, offers that a lot of things don't. It offers an authentic experience in education. I went to the Western Hemisphere. It was 1962 when the Soviet Union and the United States came to the brink of a nuclear war. Ninety miles away, the Russian premier Khrushchev and the Cuban leader Fidel Castro placed a fear in the Americans with an agreement to place nuclear weapons in Cuba. Video does two things. One thing is it gets that attention in order for students to build critical skills. And the second thing is, is that the kid has gone through probably more decisions in that project than they've made all year long doing other projects. Um, and I think that is what carries into the test at the end of the year. Action. Action. Okay, what's your name? Shinoke. Shinoke, where are you from? Thailand. Thailand? I think it helps my kids more and I actually think that even when they're not doing movies, they're more involved because they know that eventually a movie is going to come up. And the movies get them interested, I think, in history in general because they can always see in their mind, like sometimes they'll say, like, how would you show this in a commercial or what would you do here? So they can always connect it to what they learned about the movies. So I think it's changed the way I teach and I think it's made me a better teacher. And over here in Washington, snowy. Well, English as a second language has a full component, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. And distance uh, video projects incorporate all four of them all at the same time. There is always ongoing process of learning going on. So it's just beautiful tools to teach. Okay, what are we missing? The first scene. Like, first, first, scene. Yeah, first scene. One part of the ESL syllabus deals with multimedia and text messages. Suki Kim has her students creating a news broadcast. This is not taking up any time off um, from their learning using papers and textbooks. 
We do research papers. And this is just another outlet to do the research paper. This is a research paper, but using all the technologies with the things that they like to use. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Abraham Schaefer, reporting live from the WMCK. And Kay Chavales. Good evening. Today, our top story, we go at Bailey and Williams. Last night at TWAM, um, Bailey and William, Bob Snapper was robbed and stabbed by two unmasked men. It's just enhancing the enthusiasm, the learning process, all four components of ESL um, learning process within just the one project. I can see students producing um, movie trailers on, um, on, on formulas for mathematics. I can see students creating commercial selling um, scientific method. I can feel uh, a poetry project coming out as a 2020 investigation. I can see kids that are in band even creating how-to videos. I, I really can't see where it doesn't work. Several teacher-developed genres have emerged for DV composing that include movie trailers, public service announcements, poetry videos, 60-minute style investigative reports, character confessionals, personal narratives, video quilts, and commercials that sell a concept. How would you like to save some lives by bombing a country? If you do, purchase a can of our amazing drink, Bomb It! Don't think it works? Take it from two individuals who drink Bomb It on a daily basis. Ever since the Manhattan Project began on September 17, 1942, the Senate was questioning the $2 billion investment. Man, thank God for Bomb It! My movie, Bomb It, it was it's just a simple movie about uh, why Harry Sherman actually dropped the bomb on Hiroshima. The region's answer, which is to save American lives, and there's a lot of other answers, like the $2 billion he spent on the Manhattan Project. The Senate was all over him to see if it was a good investment. Um, to scare the Soviet Union because they were just about to start the Cold War. They saw that, that rivalry between those two countries happening. So, a lot of different reasons why they, that he dropped them on. It's something they're doing during their day that matters to them. And that doesn't happen a lot. Where a kid is making an academic decision that he cares about. And, and it's those types of decisions um, that brings students back into, into the fold, into the educational fold. For most of the teachers here at the workshop, it's not business as usual as they try to bridge the new digital divide between those who have, for the most part, grown up and lived in a print-based world and those who've grown up and lived in a digital world of new literacies. Technology is something that they already know and uh, it's something that they know better than I do. So they, um, they can take it and they can be more creative, which I think a lot of kids these days really enjoy, is being creative. When asked who has been the major influence in my life, I wouldn't have to think twice. He is a man who has the experience you see on a Lifetime movie, experiences that you've never imagined going through. He may not have been a civil rights leader, politician, or teacher, but he is a man that I look up to and I am proud of although I may not let him know at times, and that man is my father. At a young age, I never really understood why my father wasn't always around. I often look back now at all the times I have cried, wondering where he was. I would look out of Grandma's window at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning, wondering if he was going to show up. There's a higher, higher order of thinking that, that takes place when, when students first do the writing, the thinking, and then have to use images or moving shots, okay, motion, transitions, adding that. It takes, it takes just something on a piece of paper to, to another level, to what's, what's going on in your head when you, when you, when you wrote this? What were you seeing? Create a digital video found poem for the novel Their Eyes Are Watching God using Windows Movie Maker. It's kind of really nice for them to know whatever they're going to come up with creatively, it's, it's, it's going to have an impact and their thoughts are, are of value. Yeah, we picked that one little part and then I saw another part. I love Once they say it's a video project, you got to do this, you got to do that, it just starts forming up there and you just keep picking pieces and pieces and it comes out to be your own masterpiece. That's why I always look forward to them. 
She saw her life like a great tree and leaf with things suffered, things enjoyed, things done and undone. Dawn and doom was in the branches. It was a weapon against... What we do is help kids to learn and to enjoy learning and they're learning as as well as having fun but part of the fun is that they're they're feeling good about themselves they're feeling good about what they know and what they're doing give us the lowdown our um, video clip is called send attacks it's about the women's suffrage act the 19th amendment and the women's role in world war one how they got sick of being held down senatox tell them where senatox comes from what's Sen? seneca what's falls. The seneca? seneca falls and guys, we want to make sure for the region of the exam that we associate Seneca Falls with exactly what these ladies are going to be doing up here. Do you feel as though these are not being respected? Do you believe it's time for a change? Well, we have the perfect solution for you, Cenotox. Cenotox is the best solution for women in America. I thought I would always be stuck in the shadow of a man. Cock doing his dirty work, but not anymore. One pill from Cenotox, put my The hands-on immersion of DV composing also translates to greater retention. They help me remember a lot about the, uh, the subject that it's on, because you have to do all the research, and you have to listen to the voiceover so many times to get it to connect the right way, and then you have to listen to it again to go all the way through to see if the videos or the, the clips match up. And it's, it, it's just another layer on, how to, on learning the topic that you just don't get if you don't do it. Right, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say... Um, a uh, nucleus is the large organelle that the stores, stores and protect and protect DNA. DNA. And then you're going to say what? I'm gonna say Today, oh, a group of students from just... School 43 are working on a video called The Organelle Hunter, based on the crocodile hunter with Steve Irwin. It's a collaborative project between their 8th grade science and English classes. And that particular group has a uh, state final exam coming up. So I said, pick something that's very relevant to your final exam. And they thought it would be really cool to do it uh, from the standpoint of searching out the different parts of an organelle, which is how they got to Steve Irwin and the crocodile hunter. This isn't a Christmas present. This isn't something you're doing for your kids like, let's take a break from learning to have fun. It is fun, but I want us to see this as a main ingredient in our methodology. City Voices, City Visions is a new landscape of learning for digital kids in a digital age. I think all educators have to see that teaching has to change because learning is changing. And if we don't innovate in the classroom, we'll become more and more out of touch with the real lives of real kids who end up in our classrooms. City Voices, City Visions is funded by the John R. O'Shea Foundation.